Hi and welcome to Tabletop Gaming. My name is Charlie and today we're going to take a look inside this. This is Hughes and Clues from the OP. Now you may have seen me talk about this in our unboxing of the stack of games that the OP sent us over um, but I thought we'd take a look inside. Now I'm not anticipating tons of components because it is on the lighter end of the spectrum um, but we can talk about what we find and see what's in there. So this Hughes and Clues um, is unsurprisingly, Hughes and Cues, sorry, I keep calling it Clues and it's not, um, is a sort of colour based game. Um, so you're going to give hints to your friends uh, who are going to try and work out what colour it is that you're talking about. Um, now it is a game for multiple people in terms of we're looking at three plus, um, all the way up to ten players. Um, but it's lovely and easy to learn. So you're only looking at an age rating of sort of like eight and over. It's quite an easy one to pull out uh, with the family at Christmas at any point. Um, that feels like a game that us hobbyists play and also one that's not too daunting to get out on the table for anything else. Now, this game at first discussion seems very simple. The rules certainly are. The game, it turns out, is trickier than you anticipate and it really gets you thinking. So unlike many games that I open, we are starting with the board. Um, normally it is instructions first, so it's quite interesting to see some sort of variation. This is what we're working with. So it's fair to say there is a full spectrum of colours, as rightly there should be. Um, we'll find out how good my camera lens is today um, by this, because I will judge the colours. What colour am I? What colour am I on today? I'm on like an orangey, maybe colour. I don't know. If you've got this game, let me know what colour you would match me to. Now, inside we then have the instructions. Do you know what I like about these instructions? Is that's it. That is it. My kind of instructions. I am a nightmare for anything more than a couple of pages and I just throw it at a friend and say, you can do this, you can explain this to me. Um, and thankfully he's very good at it, but I prefer to allow others. Um, now, in terms of what you're doing, start the game is draw a card, give a clue, um, and let people make their first guess, give a second clue, let people make their second guess, um, and then see how well they did. So that nice and easy. Um, scoring, how that works, um, and your differences as well based on your colour. And finally the option for additional rules and for variant rules as well. So all of that is included within. So plenty to see there. Now we have our, a couple of bits in here. We have our little scoring box. Um, so I won't pull the pull-ups properly. Um, but you can see you'll slot those pieces together um, to give you an idea of what's going where and the numbers on it dictate sort of how much you'll get for your points depending on where you placed your marker where you believed that you were in terms of colour and like actually let's explain this better so if the colour was this one but somebody guessed here cool you can have like two points if they go further afield and weren't right at all then they get less points and then even further than that it's just not happening um now you're gonna say to me how does the color get picked charlie who when someone's picking um or giving a clue in the first place what are they giving a clue for well my astute audience um you get given these so you'll have a choice um from the cards that you'll draw at random the different colours on there um, and those will be the ones that you'll try to get people to then guess. Um, now, they can guess using the last component in there, there is nothing else in the box after that um, with these, so these are their little markers for um, obviously your different colour dictates the different person um, and then you'll pop down what you think it is. Um, now, there's some interesting things to this because it is, of course, a very simple game. It's one of those that some people will go, is this a game at all? Yes, yes it is. It's something that brings a lot of fun and is easy to learn and easy to do and easy to challenge. It sparks conversation. They're the kind that I like. However, there's nothing stopping you from taking this game a bit further. And I've talked about this on different videos before being able to get my hands on who's in, who's in clues, who's in cues, who's in cues itself, um, is that you can theme this. So you can turn around and say, instead of just saying, it can be anything, which is what this is, nice and broad, nice and open. If it calls to your mind that this is the perfect colour of grass on a second spring Tuesday, then you say it's grass spring. I don't think you can get Tuesday because you only get two word answers, but the, the inference is there. Um, and you know it's some kind of green and you've got to decide which green it likely is. Um, that also though, you could turn around and limit that and say, okay, well, do you know what? 
the colours that you're allowed to pick from can only be described in terms of desserts. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh goodness, okay, well it's a, a like, maybe you allow for extra words on this one because it is trickier, but like key lime pie and, um, or um, slightly off tomatoes. I don't know, I, tomatoes aren't a dessert. They could be, they're a fruit. Um, you see what I mean though in terms of there's different options, there's nothing stopping you from adding to this game. Um, to build a layer of complexity and to direct it to the people that you're playing with. Um, so if I was playing with my niece for example I might turn around and be like children's television um, and then of course Peppa Pig will come up. It might be that um, people playing with me would theme this around Disney which is the one that sparked this idea from TikTok um, and so even on this top one we'd look at maybe that bottom purple and say Ursula nice we'd look at the pink and maybe we could go with briar rose we'd maybe struggle we'd have to maybe limit that down a little bit um or various other options charlotte princess from the prog those sorts of things um to give you an idea so you can then if you need to expand the area um or offer more clues and the other thing at the core of this is that it's actually quite difficult sometimes you think oh i just need to think of a color of something but how do i differentiate the difference between so these two for example two separate cards two separate shades of green how do i very specifically using one word and then two words explain to you what that difference in shades is with something that you'll recognize and um, so is it okay well green is grass cool but is it summer grass winter grass is it forest grass does that help me in the two different colors in inspiring you to think that that's the same as well so it is trickier than you think it is. There's more thoughts to it. You can play it as sort of relaxed as you need to or want to. That's the nice thing about low rules. There's no impact if you choose to um, homebrew or change little bits as well. Um, so it's quite a nice one to pull out, play, and make it your own. I guess the question is, is this just framework for a good game? Yeah, sure. It's a, it's a good game in itself. Um, it's just then you can add to it. And I think the additions you can add to it make it uh, give it another depth so it adds another this isn't just a color game this is also a themed game slap disney on the front disney branding on the front and you've got a whole new thing so there you have it super quick nosy into hues and cues and um, how i would play it i'm looking forward to playing it properly again um, and i hope that you enjoy this so let me know if you enjoyed this video let me know if you have any questions let me know if you've played how you play did you enjoy did you add anything in what did you think i want to hear all about it but with that thank you so much for watching have a great day and see you soon Thank you.